this is his tool here. So what we're gonna do is um, we're first gonna go in. All of you guys go in and do your your analysis. Now uh, there are some people there, but I think you can walk around and have a look. So this is um, Chang Kai-shik's son, uh, which is he also took over the uh, as the president of, of Taiwan. So you want to have a look at this tomb because it's very interesting to see that uh, the following descendants after him, most of them don't make past 20. Okay, so they only past 20 years old. So you want to have a look at this tomb itself and see what you can find. Now before you go in to look at formations, most of the time you can't do the feng shui inside. You can't see much, you can just see whatever is inside, right? You gotta see where the chi come from, look at the entire environment itself. So by coming in, you know that's northwest. The first thing you want to observe is what's on the outside. Okay? So do we actually see an incoming mountain from the northwest? Now we have to observe one of the most important things. Look at the formation itself. So we can't see the formation from just the in the outside right here. Frontage we don't know. How about the back? See when you do the feng shui for this place. The most important thing you must always remember with Feng Shui, we always start from the outside, okay? We don't go right inside. Go inside, see nothing. See, the problem with when you do Feng Shui is most of the time people like to look at the internal, alright? We do the flying stars or it mentions where you do uh, Yang House or Yin House. That's the first mistake, okay? Always start with the outside. No matter whether you're doing Shuan Kong Da Gua or whether you are doing, you know, uh, any uh, uh, interior feng shui, you must always start from the external environment. You see here? Look at the back. Look at the back. You, do not, you totally do not have access to the incoming dragon. It is a reverse formation altogether. Okay? So this is one, one already a problem. So, remember the back governs one. You can only last one generation. So make sure you move in rich. Okay? Because you're going to move out poor. So be careful and remember, each mountain governs the energy for one whole generation. Now, if you were to use this place, okay, let's say if you were to use this feng shui, right? How would you have used this feng shui? How would you use it? Green dragon will pro cross the bright hall and the white tiger, this one here, will cross to the front. Okay, so effectively what you will have, effectively what you have is both arms, left and right embrace. Okay, if you see here, this is the right embrace, this is the left embrace, and in the, in the front will be your right hall. Can you see that? What formula is that? It's a graveyard direction. You just studied that in, in, in module 3, remember? Okay, exiting graveyard, is it good? Yeah. It's perfect. Okay, but now you're facing the opposite. What happens? Graveyard water is supposed to extend all the sachi out, isn't it? Now you're facing the opposite, you have reversed that formation. That's not good. Okay, it's supposed to be, you know, when you exit graveyard, we call it Gao Meng Wang Chi, means saving lives, yellow spring water. You reverse that formation, short life water. Okay, so can you see that? Very simple formation, right? So this is the thing, the uh, location where there is forms, but wrong usage. Yes, you know what I mean? There's good forms but wrong usage. Now, let me ask you, is this formation correct now? Is the uh, did they put the tube correctly? No. That's why you get the results of what is happening. Okay, so if you have to fix it, how would you fix it? So line the redirect the direction.